Hey guys, in today's video, I'll share with you three ways to survive an online argument. And who knows, you might even win. My name is Jason and welcome to Better Today, a place where young leaders like you come for work-life motivation and inspiration. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I really, really appreciate it. Make sure to stay until the end of this video and remember to answer today's question of the day. It's really easy to get sucked into an endless comment war with a complete stranger or even someone you know online. The lack of face-to-face -face interaction, strong opinions, an emotional culture, and an internet connection, that's a recipe for a fight. Except this time, it's online. And man, people are brave when they're behind the screen you know here's how you can survive and maybe even win an online argument first you've got to check who's your opponent if it's a faceless profile works at Krusty Krab no offense to Krusty Krab and it just generally feels like that it's a fake account that's posting walk away you can of course report the profile as well for some peace of mind never argue with someone who isn't brave enough to put their real name and their real faces behind their opinions now if it's someone you know or is a real person you need to make a decision do you care enough about this person do you respect them do you mind if other people see or read this argument if the answer is no walk away. This person is probably not going to listen to you anyway. If the answer is yes, keep watching. Second, attack the point, never the person. The biggest mistake that I see when people get into this online fight thing is that the entire argument degenerates into name calling and throwing insults at each other. Bobo ka. Mas bobo ka. Bobo nanay mo. Tatay mo bobo. Ad infinitum. That's not a healthy argument to say the least. It's immature, no one learns anything from anybody, and you just wasted each other's time. Each opportunity that you get, make sure that you're making it clear that it's the point that you have an issue with, not the person. You're giving the other person a chance to see your point and to even give up theirs if your argument is objective and convincing. If you attack the person, it's harder for them to give up their point and give up ground because you're attacking their identity and you're making it personal. The third tip is to arm yourself with facts. People are entitled to their own opinions, beliefs, and even superstitions. But what they are not entitled to are their own facts. I see a lot of online arguments around politics, medicine, and science in general. The good news is that reputable sources and trustworthy references on those topics, among many others, are easier to access now more than ever. I made a video on how to fact check news, so make sure to check out that link in the video description below. Starting your argument with, according to the New England Journal of Medicine, sure sounds a lot more believable than According to my Tita's Viber group, don't you think? Put links as well because this lets your opponent fact check the information themselves. If you're very, very, very lucky, new information for them will help them change their minds. It's far too easy to get pulled into an internet flame war. The moment name calling and insults are thrown at you, just walk away. Let the other person sit there. Let them waste their time waiting for your reply while you live in their heads rent free. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, make sure to hit that like button and remember to subscribe. Feel free to share this with a friend or a family member as well. Today's question of the day is, how would you handle an online argument? Share your experience with me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason and may you survive an online argument better today.